If you want a smooth peach, then keep watching this video all the way through because I'm going to show you how to remove hair from your peach and from any other area on your body that you don't want hair on. So let's get into it. Whether you're a girl, a guy, a gay, a male, a female, anything in between or on the outskirts, sometimes some of us just want a smooth peach, but there's not a clear way to find out how to actually do it properly. You can be searching online and you just can never find the right routine, the right method, the right tutorial on how to get your peach looking extra smooth, feeling extra smooth, and learning how to use hair removal cream the right way. Well, look no further because in this video, I will be giving you my own personal routine that I use to get rid of the hair on my peach so that my butt can be smooth. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephen Brenland with another YouTube video. Before we do get into this video, I always post similar videos like this. So if that is something that you're interested in, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button, press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a new YouTube video. And if you want to see a follow up of these videos or something more along the lines of these, then make sure you also leave this video a big thumbs up. Without further ado, let's just get into the video because I know you guys want to know how to get your peach looking extra smooth. Step one, you're going to need hair removal cream. Now you may be thinking, what hair removal cream do I use? I think personally, it comes down to what your skin and body type is like. When I first started removing hair on my body, I used to use Nair, but eventually my body was just too reactive to it because I have very sensitive skin. But I know for a lot of people, Nair is fine to remove body hair. But in my case, I just either order or go into the store and buy a hair removal cream that the store makes themselves, or I will use the Super Drug Bikini Hair Removal Cream. I will attach in the description down below hair removal creams that are good for you to use. And you can either use a link and order online, or if you wanna go into the store, just make sure that you're buying hair removal cream for the bikini or sensitive areas. Make sure that the packet says bikini or for sensitive areas. You may be thinking what store? So we've got Super Drug, Boots, Walmart, your supermarket, most body shops, most beauty shops, just have a look around, you'll find it quite quickly. But as I said, if you do just wanna order it, I will link it in the description down below. Step two, once you've got your cream, you're going to need to have a shower. Most of you will probably shower in the mornings, which is great, but if you haven't, just make sure that you have a shower before starting this, because you want to make sure that your body is extra clean. But just before you go into the bathroom, grab your mirror, anything that has a reflection, because you're going to need to be looking, and I'll tell you why in the next step. Step three, once you've had your shower and you've gotten out, your whole body's clean, or the areas that you need to remove hair from, then make sure that you pat yourself dry. This is just an everyday tip, but don't use a towel and wipe yourself dry. That's really aggressive on the skin. Pat yourself dry and wait for your skin to not be wet anymore. Then what you're going to do is get your mirror or get your phone. I suggest a mirror, a normal square mirror, and squat over the mirror or go on all fours. But personally, I squat over the mirror at first just so I can see my whole peach and everything in its glory. And then step four comes into play and this is where you apply the cream. So whatever cream you've ended up getting to remove your hair off your body, you will then either squirt the cream on your hand or squirt it on the plastic holder that you'll get given and then you can rub it over your body, so over your peach, and rub it over the areas with hair. Now, I cannot stress to you enough, once you have rubbed it over your peach, there's a couple things you need to know. You can rub it all over your peach, anywhere but the center dot, okay? You get what I'm saying. You can rub it literally just on the outskirts, but just not on the actual center dot, and you'll be fine. The center dot meaning where things come out of, or go in. Now, I usually go back and forth whilst I'm doing this. I will either be in a squat position or I'll be going into an all fours position, but I just try and make sure that my cheeks aren't touching when I do this, and I'll wait around four to five minutes with the cream on. I suggest that maybe you have a book or maybe you do scroll through your phone <laughs> whilst you're waiting for the cream to do its thing. On the bottle of the hair remover, it will tell you how long you need to wait. Make sure that if you do have any cream on your hands, you've washed it off. When you wash your hands, try your best to make sure that your cheeks are not 
touching. So you might have to squat over to the sink and then wash your hands or just get a towel near you and wipe it off. But just make sure there's no cream on your hands because if that stays on for a couple of minutes, you may get a rash or something. And I cannot stress to you enough, even if there's no cream on your hands, but there was at one point, do not touch your eyebrows and do not touch your hair through this process because I did that once. Luckily, everything was fine, but I panicked. Okay, so once you've waited for the amount of time to pass, you will then get the scraper if you have one and then you will start scraping off the cream. Gently though, the hair should start coming off. And regardless of if you have a scraper or not, you're going to end up getting back in the shower, which is step five. Scrape and shower. Get that cream all the way off and get out the shower, which is step six. Squat over the mirror again. See your new peach. It's amazing when it goes from hair to no hair. You'll be very impressed. And you shall see that it works. And if you've missed any patches, you can just do the process again. But the more you do this, the easier it will become. If you've missed a patch of hair, but it's not necessarily out of reach, like it's just a, on your cheek, then you can just shave that quickly if you want, or you can just use a hair removal cream, completely up to you. And then after that, we go into step seven, where you're just going to want to moisturize your skin because you've used some sensitive creams, perhaps you've shaved, you've showered, and you just want to add moisture back into your skin. So I will attach some moisturizers down below in the description if you want to order some, or you can just use your own moisturizer that you have. I always have bottoming products, hair removing cream products, any products for the gays, for the girls, for the guys, in the description down below. So definitely check them out if you want to order something. Okay guys, so that is a routine. I will make a video on how to shave your areas, how to avoid getting shaving bumps, how to get rid of shaving bumps, anything like that. So let me know in the comments if you want a video helping you do all of that. And other than that, I hope everything goes well. Let me know how it goes and remember to leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next. Bye everyone. What? What?